one is the X-Berry Hybrid. It's a rhododendron and or azalea. Uh, I don't know the um, uh, the uh, botanical name. I'm sorry. Uh, I can't even pronounce it. <laughs> so anyway, it's a great yellow though. Yeah. Okay, and we'll look at the name again. It's a, how do you say it, a rhododendron expiry hybrid. This one right here is what, what the botanical name is. Oh. Okay, on to the next uh, plant. I need my little go-kart. It's hard to do this while walking. Yeah, oh, what's this? Oh. A new art. Yeah, this looks new. This is an architecture welded steel and fabric by uh, Gerald uh, Harris. Nice. Uh, now it is for sale. It's 2500 Wow. 2500 Now, if you get a, a nice close-up there, that, that shows you how you can do some creative things in your own garden. Um, if you had uh, some beautiful wood, maybe wood with uh, a fabric might be really nice. Interesting. Yep. Oh, some some. We got look at this. A red tree and a red. Um, this is a Japanese maple. A Japanese maple, and they all get really big. Next to a red rhododendron. So somebody um, color coordinated this. It looks mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. uh, once wow, they, how would nice. you, how how would you differentiate the reds here? Well, the uh, maple has a lot of brown. Brown orange. Oh. Brown and, orange. And this is more of the the blues and reds. It's a cooler red. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. I'm going to sit down right here and just Take a little break. Yep, it's good to take a break. That's good. Pan I'm just gonna do a sweep of this garden here. We have foxglove, we have uh, rhododendrons, some white and purple foxgloves. Ooh, some beauties. And this is used for the heart medicine. Right. And uh, some ferns. We have a little stream. Yeah, and this path goes right to the ocean, so we're like half a mile from the ocean. I think it's the only botanical garden on the ocean, I think, in the world. I know in the country. I'm not sure if in the world. Uh, Mr. Schaefer was the founder of this uh, garden, and uh, he uh, developed uh, this, this property. I'm not quite sure how many acres that's involved here, but... He started in the early 60s, and um, oh, he just did a beautiful job, and then sold it to other uh, other owners. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, oh, we have a we have Ooh, a sculpture this. here. That's an interesting sculpture. I'm not sure what's supposed to be. Katie Gibbs is the uh, uh, sculptress. Oh. And it is three hundred. Three hundred dollars for. It looks uh, a metal very tree. much like a tree or maybe yeah. flames. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Can I go this way or that way or oh, this, way? this way? Yeah. Oh, look at oh. that. Oh. Here we go. This is like the 4th of July for fireworks. Oh, and a, and a purple iris. 
very pretty. Beautiful. Now, um, remember, Jeffrey, that we saw this uh, iris at the uh, um, Down Home Foods? I can't remember oh. the name of it. But they were that's tall correct. and a deep, deep purple like this. That's, that's correct. Oh, that's right. They were selling... Uh, just l a little pots of them. Pots of them for $10. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, and here's more rhododendrons. Whoa. These are in full bloom. This is what I wanted to see because this is... This doesn't happen for very long. And all these buds are used up. I... Well, there's some. Yeah, there's, there's, there's some, a few little tight ones. But... Uh, it's really peaking now. But this is in the peak of... We're in the peak of the rhododendron season. This is a dinosaur. Ooh. <laughs> Maybe a... Dinosaur. Uh, take a look food. at the underneath of this thing. This is a giant leaf. And it's got thorns. Really heavy-duty thorns right here. Hmm. Big thorns. That would really they hurt. They look like teeth. Yep. Don't they? <clears throat> or like little miniature yep. feet. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen oh. anything. I've never seen anything like this. I mean, look at my... Uh, they're, they're almost uh, big enough uh, to sit on. Yeah, yeah. That's a big, big leaf. They're giant. They're giant leaves with uh, teeth oh, now, all over uh, them. We're getting close to something that's really ancient. This is called a horse horsetail. Oh, that's right. And the horsetail is um, something uh, that has come down through the ages. Uh, the Indians here used it like an SOS pad uh, to um, kind of clean things and and, uh, uh, for the poison oak, thing. poison oak, uh, ooh. to get the poison off your body, diffuse the, uh, diffuse the poison oak off your body, take the sting away. Well, I'm not sure about that. D okay. Isn't it? You break a break. Yeah, you break the, you break this part in half. Oops, I just broke it by mistake. That's, but you break it, and you take this part. You rub it in your body. And it takes away the sting of poison oak. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, here are the rhododendrons. And here's a peak of some bright, bright red ones. Right in through here, Jeffrey. You've got a whole oh, yeah. tunnel of the pink. Some red ones over there. Oh. Scarlet red. Oh, yeah, these are really red. I have, ooh, some white ones and some red ones. Okay, these are beautifully, they come in a col on all colors. And the Botanical Garden has the most rhododendrons uh, of species of any garden in the world, supposedly. And there's a white rhododendron right there. Oh, and now here's another kind of maple. This is a Japanese maple, but it's... Oh, interesting. You can see, it's more of the greens. Yeah, it's a green Japanese maple. It's a beauty. Oh, white. Mm -hmm. Let's see if it has a smell. Nope. No smell. I don't smell it. Okay. Uh, go this way. Oh, there is a beautiful one over there. Maybe we can just walk down here. Oh. How many more minutes do you have? Um, for this clip, nine minutes. Ooh, this is like firework alley. <sighs> but I can turn this off anytime. Okay, but why don't we turn it off now? Let's say goodbye and fade out. Okie doke. Over and out.